Good afternoon. These are obviously tough times to make money in business and in an investment. We may be in a bear market. We may be in a recession. Who knows? Who indeed cares how the experts define it? The world has become a tougher place for entrepreneurs and investors. Firstly, and most critically, do your homework. Get hold of the company's annual report and interim report and study them, along with other announcements and any circulars. Undertake a detailed financial and business analysis of any company you think might represent a target. Compare the company to its peers and look at the relative ratios. Try to understand the dynamics of its operations, its markets, its customers, its management. Consider the overall value of the enterprise and the views of the brokers and the financial press. <coughs> I believe strongly in fundamental research before making an investment decision. I experiments have shown that most people are actually by nature risk averse even where the likely gain actually outweighs the likely loss on a scientific basis. Because for most people, the fear of loss is greater than the desire for gain. So I think the fundamental lesson from this point is that if you want to get rich by investing, you have to be prepared for risk and you must measure the risk as far as is possible and try and understand the risk and then embrace it if appropriate. We all fail to learn sufficiently from experience. We, are, we have a tendency to be lazy and to not do enough homework. And we let emotions overcome logic. Constant reminders of these shortcomings are essential if one is to improve one's performance. I always try the elevator test. In other words, if the owner, chief executive, broker, whoever is pushing a situation can't do an elevator pitch in a couple of short sentences, then be careful. I will now give you a slightly historic example of a classic case of bullish hype that helped destroy a bastion of British industry. The problem in this case was absolutely not the short sellers. It was the untrammeled enthusiasm of the senior executives and blue-blooded brokers and merchant banks who allowed a company to go from billions in the bank to little short of bust after three years of ill-advised acquisitions and disposals. I'm talking about Marconi, or GEC as it was once known. Most of you will know about the humbling of this previously fine business. Its shares sell almost, fell almost 100% from their peak. Its bondholders were required to do a debt for equity swap. It was thrown out of the FTSE 100. It fired its finance director, its chief executive and its chairman. It's a sad and instructive tale. And remember what Groucho Marx said. The secret, secret to life is honesty and fair dealing. If you can fake that, you've got it made. Good luck and thanks for listening.